guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is for kind of like my newer subscribers who are just coming into my channel. I've had quite a few lately and I wanted to do kind of an updated random fun facts about me. And I did one of these a long time ago, not a long time ago, like maybe a year ago. I don't know if it's, if it's even still live on my channel anymore because it was like 20 minutes long and I'm not trying to do that again. But I thought this would be kind of a fun, less serious type video for my channel and for all of you who are kind of newer to my channel and want to get to know me a little bit better. So if you're new and you like mom videos, currently trying to conceive videos, fingers crossed, cleaning, what I'm eating videos, I'm a full-time working mama and we have a, a nine-year-old stepdaughter and a four-year-old daughter with my husband. And yeah, I kind of just post a little bit of everything on my channel when I can. So hit the subscribe button before you leave and let's go ahead and get into the video. So my first fun fact about me is that I was a skateboarder. I know. So growing up, I had a sister and she got to this stage. She's a year and 10 months older than me. And she was kind of into like the sport. There were guys that she would date and they skateboarded so in order to be kind of cool and fit in with them i started doing it i used to wear like the skateboard like etnies shoes if I, if I can find a picture of them i'll pop them up i'm sure they're still around and i just don't know about them because i'm not kind of into that anymore i was obsessed with the skateboarder bam margera you guys probably remember on mtv he had a show called viva la bam he's part of the movie series the jackass crew I loved it. I was horrible at skateboarding, but I honestly, I really enjoyed it. And I just thought it was like the best thing ever and that I was so cool, even though I had no clue what I was doing. But yeah, most people when they hear that, they're like, what? <laughs> the next thing is that I am obsessed with movie trivia. By the way, there's like 15 facts if you guys care. So yeah, I'm obsessed with movie trivia. At work in my office, I have a dry erase board that I every day will put some kind of trivia on there. I really gravitate towards movie trivia and TV show trivia because I love movies. I love TV shows. I'm always looking for recommendations. I'm always trying out new shows, new movies. And I'm always sticking to the classics too. I'm obsessed with classic movies. I watch the same movies over and over again sometimes because I find it very fun. <laughs> so that's another little fun fact about me. The next fun fact about me is really silly and I'm pretty sure everyone has done this at one point or another. But in high school, I had a girlfriend, like literally a little girlfriend instead of a boyfriend. And it wasn't like that we felt that way about each other. We actually became girlfriend and girlfriend in order to get guys off of our backs. I was with someone and I was like, mm -mm, I'm just done with it. And she was kind of the same way. So we were like, let's just be like girlfriends and we'll hold hands in the hallways. And people actually bought it, which was so funny. We actually had a lot of fun with it. And we'd go to the mall and hold hands, kind of like the way that couples back then would hold hands like this. We just thought we were being cool and I don't remember if we ever told anyone the truth. I can't remember honestly, but I ended up getting back with a boyfriend that I had so it didn't last very long, but <laughs> it was just kind of fun in those high school years and I haven't actually talked to her in years and I don't know where she even is today, which is kind of sad because I hate drifting away from people in high school. I mean, I don't hang out with a lot of my friends from high school anyways. I think I have like two friends from high school that I even talked to because I just wasn't kind of into that social aspect. But she's one person that I really do miss. So if you're ever seeing this video, you know exactly who you are. Let's connect. The next fun fact about me is that I have gauged ears. Now I did not gauge my ears on purpose. I actually was in cheer for a few years. I, well not a few, I was in cheer for quite a few years. And I did beauty pageants growing up and all the earrings from like when I got older, I would wear like heavy, like fashion, big earrings. When I was like 18, 19, going out every night, sleeping in them and my ears over the years just started to kind of like tear. And so they actually look like they're gauged and I probably could put a gauge in there if I wanted to. But seriously guys, like the holes are like this big, like it's insane. And I do want to get them fixed, but I'm not sure what that actually entails because they never actually grew back together. They kind of just grew apart. So that's why I wear studs all the time to cover it up. Um, if you guys have any suggestions about like what I should do, like what kind of doctor I should go to, should I go to like a plastic surgeon? Should I go to a family practice doctor? I'm not even sure if it's possible to like close them up, which is kind of scary, but 
I've had it for so many years that I don't even care anymore. But yeah, fun fact. Next fun fact is that I actually broke off the engagement to my husband right after it happened, like within a few days, and we were separated for two weeks. Um, I'm laughing now because obviously it all worked out and we are still married today, but I kind of just kind of like freaked out and realized like, holy crap, I'm gonna get married. I was, at the time I was 20 when we just got engaged, I was just about to turn 21 and I'll tell you why I was freaked out a, a little bit in a later fun fact in this video, but the biggest reason that kind of freaked me out was that I knew I was gonna be moving away from my family, living 17 hours away here in Iowa instead of Alabama where I'm from, and it kind of freaked me out. So we did split up for two weeks. So that, <laughs> looking back now, I'm like, I was being such a dramatic drama queen, but yeah. It all worked out for us in the end. The next thing is that I grew up wanting to be like a coroner or a medical examiner. I wanted to do the autopsies and that kind of thing. I was just obsessed with shows like that. And I think a lot of people get really into those kind of shows and want to be like investigators, but I wanted to like do the autopsies for sure. That's what I wanted to do. Things just didn't work out that way for me. I realized as I got older that that wasn't really what I wanted to do, but I'm still into like science and forensics and things like that. But obviously I work kind of the farthest way from that. I work like in an office doing like, you know, you guys know what I do if you're on my channel. If you don't know what I do, I'm a CPC coder and a billing specialist for an OBGYN clinic. And I do all the insurance consults for newly pregnant women. So I'm kind of the farthest way away from that as I can get. But for many years, I said, that is what I'm going to do. I would watch autopsies like live. I thought it was just absolutely amazing. The next thing is that I was in a car accident that nearly took my life. And that car accident actually brought my husband and parents close together. So I met my husband and obviously we weren't married yet. We had just met, we were dating. We were dating for about a month and I got into a bad car accident where the car rolled and I was not wearing a seatbelt because I was not very smart and making very smart decisions. And he ended up getting called and so did my parents. They were like the last numbers dialed type thing. And they all came to the hospital and they actually met each other at the hospital and it was kind of like, oh, hi, I'm Brian. And I've been dating your daughter for a month type thing. I obviously wasn't ready for him to meet my parents because we had just been started dating and we'd gone on like maybe seven or eight dates. So yeah, that was kind of interesting. Um, yeah, wear your seatbelt, please. Watch the road, please. What actually happened is that I kind of was kind of off the road a little bit because someone was kind of getting in the lane and my car went off the shoulder and I overcorrected and started flipping. And it was just the scariest moment of my life because even though it happened so fast, when I, I thought to myself, I'm wrecking right now. Like as the car started to flip, I knew it. And it was just kind of like I had to let go of my body and just let my body fall into whatever it was gonna fall into. But yeah, it's definitely been an eye opener for me. Very scary. It's been a long time now. It's been six years or so. And sometimes thinking about it still kind of freaks me out, but wear your seatbelts, guys. The next thing is that I have had both a lip piercing and a belly button ring. I know everyone goes to the belly button ring stage. I actually got my belly button pierced when I was 15. My mom approached me for my birthday because I had just gotten my mid-semester grades and they were all A's and she's like, do you want your belly button pierced? Because all my friends had it. They were like 15, 16, 17. They all had it done. It was such a big thing back then which I don't know if people actually still have their belly button pierced now. I guess I don't know if it's still like a thing that people do, but I had mine done and I was like, yeah, I totally want to get it done. And so I had it done and I only wore it for maybe two years and then I was just kind of over it, maybe three years. But by the time that I turned like 18, maybe 19, it was out of there. It was cute for a while, but it just wasn't kind of for me to keep doing long term. And then I had my lip pierced. I only had that for a few months because my job wouldn't allow it. I got it done when I was, I think 17 or 17 maybe, maybe 18. I feel like I was still 17 though. By the time that I turned 18 or 19, it was gone. So I feel like it was about six to eight months total. If I'm, It's hard to remember back in kind of those times, but it wasn't actually a ring. It was just a stud. 
and it was cute but it wasn't really realistic when I started working at the job that I started working at so I got rid of it. The next thing is that I have five tattoos. I can do one of those like my tattoos and their meaning story if you guys are curious about them. But I do have five of them. One's on my wedding finger, one's on my wrist, which you can actually kind of see that one. I have one on my lower abdomen by my hip bone and two on the side of me. One's on my ribs, one's on like my love handle type area. I got my first one when I was 15. It was like one of those like basement tattoos. <laughs> If you guys catch my drift and it's in black light ink and it looks horrible i don't think i'm gonna get it covered up though because i'm not interested in going under the needle anytime soon but if you guys are curious to hear about them and what the stories are i'd be happy to tell you the next thing is that and this is what shocks people the most is that brian was not my first marriage and i was not brian's first marriage we both were married previously and i think that's why we kind of got along um, and kind of were okay with the idea. Um, I got married the first time when I was 17 years old to my high school boyfriend. It did not last very long. I was way too young to be getting married. Granted, I did, I did marry Brian when I was 21, but I kind of grew up a lot in between being 17 and turning 20 when I met him. I just kind of had that time that I needed to get everything out of me. And at 17, I was way too young. I had no idea what I was doing. We were only married for a few months and it was donezo. It was like the second we got married, we, we realized that this was not what we wanted to do, even though we'd been together for like three years. Yeah, and then my husband was married. He's obviously older than me, which is my next fun fact. I'll just go ahead and tell you guys now, Brian and I are 10 years apart in age. So he had already been married for a number of years. So, it was kind of like we may have been 10 years apart, 20 and 30, but we kind of been through some stuff that was the same. So it kind of worked out in our favor. And I can do a story time about getting married as a teenager at 17. If you guys are curious about it, um, I'm fine with telling my version of being married at 17. If you guys want me to do it, then leave a comment or like this video and I will do that for you guys. The next thing is that I have a horrible, horrible allergy to a lot of animals. I am like deathly allergic to cats. And I love them so much, they're so cute, but I am so allergic. And I'm also allergic to a lot of dogs. So we have a dog, uh, she's a Westie, she's hypoallergenic, and she's kind of like one of the only breeds that I can have. But guys, I, am, I get so allergic around cats my eyes swell my throat scratches it, sometimes it gets hard to breathe if i'm around them too much so i literally have to distance myself from people who have cats especially if i work with someone that has cats and they let their cat lay on them i'm done the next fun fact is that my parents thought that i was a boy till very late in their pregnancy they actually had a name for me my name would have been brian alexander interesting <laughs> my husband's name is obviously brian so it went from brian to brianna and yeah, so my legal first name is Brianna. There's an extra fun fact for you guys if you didn't know that. So I go by Anna. My full name is Brianna Lee. I go by Anna or Anna Lee as one word. I am getting my name legally changed. I plan to do this before. I have not done it yet. We actually booked a cruise and then I was gonna file the paperwork, but going through a name change while trying to leave the country. Like, I don't know how that works. So I do plan on changing it here in the near future. I just got a credential under my name now. So I, I need to figure out kind of what I have to do to change all the things, especially as far as like my career goes. But my new name that I hope to have is Anna Lee as one word, because that's what people call me or Anna, whatever. But yeah, they thought I was a boy for real. I was never turned the right way and they just, back then it wasn't as good of technology as it is now so yeah obviously i'm a girl and the last one is kind of a silly one but it's like for real but i am deathly afraid of horses horses are not my thing you guys they're just so big <laughs> they're just so big and i'm sure that most people are going to be like what because i was just watching something on, I forget what channel it was, but there were horses on, horses on there and they were like petting them and they were so sweet, but they're just so big. And I know if like one kicked me, I would be like dead probably because they're strong beings. Like I'm fine. I think they're beautiful creatures and like looking at them from afar, like really far, I think they're gorgeous. And I would like to get over my fear one day because people tell me that like horseback riding is so fun and so nice. 
but I am like definitely afraid of them. Like honestly, I will start shaking because I'm so nervous, but luckily I haven't had to be around them much my entire life. So I think I'm okay with that. But I'm curious if you guys have any animals that like you're afraid of that people think is weird because yeah, horses. Mm -mm. So that's all for this video, you guys. I'm trying to get it done as fast as I possibly can. Let me guys know some of the weird facts about you. Do we have any in common? Let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you on my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.